Hi, today I'm going to do a new product range review. It's of the new Burberry makeup and I haven't done one of these kind of complete new range reviews since I probably did Ellis Fast. So I've been lucky enough to get a really big selection I think before anybody else, which is fun. Um, I wasn't able to go in and choose it myself, I didn't have any time this week, but they've sent me the things that they think going to fit my skin tone and um, the sort of stuff that I like. So the first thing to show you are the boxes. Now you can just imagine it's very very Burberry-esque. Um, they also sent me a film of Christopher Bailey talking about um, his inspiration behind it. It's very much the Burberry trench, the weather, um, the sort of stormy colours, the natural, you know Burberry shows always have very very natural makeup in them and their palette is, is very sort of lots of nuances of browns and trenchy colours and beiges and greys and that sort of thing. So the idea of sort of stormy weather, rainy weather. Um, so it's all very natural. Lots of the terminology reflects this like sheer foundation and light glow blusher and warm glow bronzer and lip cover it says actually on the box rather than lip colour. So um, I'm expecting it to be sort of lovely textures. The packaging is extremely heavy, so very, very sort of luxe. This is um, how the foundations come, so you do get more than that, you get a full thing, but it has quite a heavy metal. It's this sort of almost graphite-y coloured metal. And everything has the Burberry check on it. I'm gonna start, I haven't used any of this yet, I haven't tried it, um, I haven't had my fingers in it, nothing. So I've got two bases. I think I'm probably gonna go for number three. I've got a one and a three. Mm, I feel I might be in between those two, but let's, let's just try, let's just try three. So it's a pump action. Let me see how I get it started. As I say, once that heavy lid's off, it feels a pretty normal weight, but this is quite heavy, the um, packaging. It's gonna look very beautiful on your dressing table, especially if you are a Burberry addict, you're somebody that really likes the, the check and everything. Okay, so I'm just going to start, this is the right colour actually, so sort of smoothing it in. Okay, let's see how this is. Okay, it's very sheer, it is sheer. It's nice actually. I think if you had skin problems, you're going to need a concealer even now but it's a lovely base that you can then conceal on top of. It's definitely evened out my skin tone quite a bit and it's dealt with that redness but it hasn't quite covered some of my pigmentation or blemishes. I'm just going to go back in and try a little bit more and see if it's buildable. Okay so that's my base done and it's very, very dewy and natural and lovely. It's, um, I built up a little bit extra in my uh, not so good points and I feel like it has evened them out quite well. So next I'm gonna try the um, powder. The other products I've got are all powder. I have actually used a little bit of concealer as well, just under my eyes. I'm not gonna use too much powder, I'm just gonna sort of keep that Burberry glow I've got going. Okay, next I'm going to go on to eyes and all of the eyes seem to be pretty neutral colours so this is not the place to be looking for a fluoro pink or a bright yellow eyeshadow. You can imagine it's very much the Burberry palette. It's a sort of smoky greys, loads of taupes and beiges and all of those kind of neutrals. See how this one goes as a base. Oh, it feels like it's almost hardly there at all. It's like a sort of whisper. Really nice if you're just doing a quite a neutral look, I should think. If you're just sort of evening out. I'm going to use this grey one, Pearl Grey number 17. That's going on pretty sheer, but nice. It's not, um, you do get some payoff, but it's not kind of too much. I'm going to go all over the lid with that. It's quite a bluey grey. I 
very very soft and smooth it almost feels like you're not really putting anything on but then you can see you've got quite a good colour build up and it's definitely one that I would imagine you could use this damp if you wanted more payoff and it would work really well because it feels very good quality and I think I know the factory this comes from because um, I think I know where this is from and it's very they make really really good quality powders there now I'm going to put a little wash underneath as well so I'm going to do a very kind of soft Burberry inspired smoky eye so I'm just taking that grey underneath now I'm going to use one of their pencils and it goes on quite well you don't get a massive payoff but you sort of get enough I think it'd be quite hard to overdo your makeup with this um, with these textures because they're all very very sheer and then again just slightly into roots the lashes along the bottom as well yeah I finished with the pencil and um, I curled my lashes and I put some mascara on I think I'm just going to use this same pencil it's not a brow pencil but I don't have any of their brow pencils but because it's this kind of quite sludgy colour I think it'll be perfect because I don't want my brows to look too strong anyway I think it'll be quite good just to put a tiny bit of colour through them okay so the next thing I'm going to use is their bronzer and this is number one so it's just called warm glow and it's nicely embossed again it's got a little bit of shimmer in it but it's not too shimmery so I'm just going to put a little bit under my cheekbones just keeping it really soft it's incredibly sheer again Okay, next I'm going to use one of the blushes, uh, they call them the Light Glow and I'm going to use number four which is Peony Blush. I think I'll use the brush as well because it looks quite good. So this is like a really, really fresh pink colour. And the brush is really nice, it comes inside the palette. So I haven't got any of the lip pencils but I've got two lipsticks. One of them is a kind of peachy colour, quite natural, and the other one is a red which is a gorgeous red and the actual lipstick is embossed with the Burberry check. Uh, there's also two lip glosses as well, um, quite fresh colours, sort of peaches and pinky colours, really natural and pretty. It's almost a shame to kind of ruin the check because the embossing's so nice. This feels very, very creamy on the brush. Oh, and I'll put a tiny bit of gloss on as well. I'll use the, the peachy gloss. Mm, it's quite smooth. So, to summarise, I think this range is really good. It's very luxurious. The packaging is very heavy. It feels very quality. The, certainly the textures, although they're sheer, they're very buildable. So on one hand you can do a kind of totally almost barely there natural face but you can do something you know a bit stronger like a smoky or more of a bronzy look um, you definitely need to like the Burberry check that is for sure because it's everywhere I mean it's not just on the sort of palettes and things it's even on the pouches although it's very understatedly done it's incredibly subtly handled shall we say it is everywhere it's um you know the embossing on the lipstick so I'd say yes you need to sort of have a, a love of um, I think a bit of a love of Burberry and a love of the check um, but I'd say that all in all if you are looking for great neutral shades so smoky grey sludgy browns you know fabulous taupes and beiges and all those sorts of very chic very understated um, colours you're also looking for very high-end luxurious textures so very silky very smooth very transparent but buildable and also if you like Burberry then I'd say you're gonna love this range I hope that was helpful for you and um, thank you for watching